back again. Now I had a lot of views on my last uh, video of my belt drive setup. And I've been through a couple brushless DC motor setups. The first one, the driver blue, and it's really questionable whether or not it was my fault. And then the second one blue, and that one definitely wasn't my fault. So I don't want to play around with those anymore. So I've uh, reconfigured things and I'm doing something that I've never seen anybody else do before. So I've got a CNC milling spindle, Chinese water-cooled spindle. And I, just for testing purposes and for fitment purposes, I 3D printed an adapter block for the clamp. It's bolted down to my original metal plate. There's two bolts in the front of this. It fits snugly in there. I think the next version would be milled out of aluminum, but actually the 3D printed uh, part with the bolts running through it might actually hold up halfway decently. So I have a really tiny pulley on there. There's a 3 8 shaft in the collet nut, so in the ER20 collet, put a little bit of uh, lapping compound on the shaft before I stuck it in the collet. The idea there is it's got grit embedded into it for friction to keep the shaft from slipping, and then I ground a flat spot for that pulley. So right now, as it's geared, the motor that I have is supposed to be a low torque motor. They say you can run it down to zero RPMs and you'll still have torque somewhere around 2000 RPMs. I'm also going to be running a VFD that has sensorless vectors so it should help with low end torque. However, the way I have this geared or the way I have the pulley ratio at 6000 RPMs of the motor, the spindle should be turning about 12 to 1400 RPMs, which is as slow as I'll ever spin it. And at max RPM, I'll still be able to hit eight or 9,000 without a belt ratio change. So we're gonna play around with it and see what happens. But just waiting on a few more parts, but I'm glad that I was able to physically mount it.